Hello my friends I hope that you all are using this time judiciously and completing all your assignments I'm Harjus Kaur of class 8E and I'm here with an interesting topic of mathematics to share with you Today I'll be telling you how to represent a rational number on a number line Any number in the form of p over q where q is non equivalent to 0 is called a rational number In simple words, number in the form of fraction is called a rational number. Both numerators and denominators can be integers, but the denominator cannot be zero. So now that we know about rational numbers, let's discuss how to represent these numbers on a number line. Let's start by knowing what number line really is. It is a line with zero marked in a center and consecutive numbers marked on each side at regular intervals. Numbers increase towards the right of zero, which means positive numbers on the right side, and numbers decrease towards the left of zero, so it means negative numbers are on the left side. We can easily plot whole numbers, natural numbers, and integers on a number line. But how do we plot rational numbers on a number line? To simplify it, I'll divide this topic into two parts. First, where the numerator is smaller than denominator and second, where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Note, we will only do comparison on the basis of numerical value. For example, if we are given a number minus 9 upon 5 it will be considered 9 upon 5 and not minus 9 upon 5 so it will come in the category of numerator greater than the denominator so the first case is when numerator is smaller than denominator here is a note if the numerator is smaller than denominator it will always be between 0 and 1 if it's positive similarly a negative number will be between 0 and minus 1 So let's try to plot 1 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 2 on a number line. To do so, we need to follow following steps. We'll begin by plotting 1 upon 2. Step number 1. Draw the number line like this. Now, fractional number 1 upon 2 has to lie somewhere between 0 and 1 because numerator is smaller than denominator. Step number 2. See the denominator. Denominator tells us how many equal parts we need to divide each division of number line in. With denominator 2, we will divide the space between 0 and 1 in two equal parts. Step number 3. Check the numerator. It tells us which division we have to mark starting from 0. Our numerator is 1. So we will move one step ahead of zero and mark one upon two on this point. Now we know how to plot positive numbers. For negative rational numbers, we will repeat the same procedure, but on the left side of zero. Moving on to case two, we will plot rational numbers where numerators are greater than denominators. We will try to plot seven by four and minus seven by four. The first step here is to convert the given improper fraction into mixed fraction. So we end up with 1 into 3 by 4. 1 is called the whole number part and 3 by 4 is the fractional part. Each number tells us about how to plot 7 by 4. Whole number tells us that the rational number 7 upon 4 is between the whole number itself and next whole number. The next whole number is two, so we know seven upon four is between one and two. So make the number line accordingly. Second number, denominator of the fractional part tells us about the number of equal parts in which each division is to be divided. Numerator of fraction tells us about the number of parts we need to move away from one. It is three parts away from one, so we will write seven upon four on the third point away from one. 
Now, what about minus 7 by 4? We can write minus 7 by 4 as minus 1 into 3 upon 4. Now, we will follow the same procedure for negative side. Make a note that negative numbers will be on left hand side. Easy, isn't it? So now, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you all understood the concept and will be able to solve these questions easily. Thank you for watching this video. Stay home, stay safe.